Yo, folks, it's your boy Buckster Bucks back at it again. Today, I'm gonna spill the beans on a story that still sends shivers down my spine. Quick heads up, though. If you've got weak nerves, you might want to skip this one. So, it was your regular hot summer evening, and I decided to spend the night playing Stumble Guys, like I usually do. You know me, I'm all about that game. My parents were out for the weekend, no friends in town, and I was all in, trying to conquer those levels. I dove right into the world of Stumble Guys, but something started feeling off. At first, it was just a faint rustle, like a distant whisper. I thought it might be my dog, but then I remembered she was in the next room. I tried to brush it off and get back to the game, but the rustles kept getting louder. I glanced out the window and saw something standing there in the darkness. It was a figure, a person, but something was off. Taller, distorted features, motionless, like it was cut out of the shadows. Goosebumps covered my skin, and I tried to shut down the game and turn on the lights, but nothing worked. The room went dead silent, and I could hear my own heartbeat. I looked back at the window, and it was closer. What happened next, I kid you not, still haunts me to this day. I heard its voice, a twisted whisper, saying my name. It knew me. It knew I was there. Panic took over, and I tried to bolt out of the room, but the door was locked. You're not leaving, the creature hissed. I'll always be here. I pulled myself together, closed my eyes, and yelled, Get out! And just like that, it all disappeared. Light came back, I was back in my room, and on the Stumble Guy screen, there it was. Victory! I breathed a sigh of relief, thinking it was all just a nightmare. But something was off. The game had changed. Levels were twice as hard, and I could feel eyes on me. That's when I saw it among the characters on the screen. That creature, weird and terrifying, its body covered in purple blotches and its face distorted by darkness. It looked like a living nightmare. From that point on, something freaky and downright spooky started happening in Stumble Guy. With every new trial, this creature kept messing with me. It would pop up in a mystical, magical way where it shouldn't be and it played by its own set of rules. We tackled this horrifying icy track where bone-chilling winds seemed to blow from the depths of darkness and sinister forces knocked us off our feet. The ice was as slippery as a sneaky prank and that creature would appear right in front of me making me tumble into the icy abyss. Next up, we faced this course that looked like a beehive but the creature defied gravity floating above the honeycombs like a ghost. It manipulated the combs I stepped on as if it had some kind of magical control. Turning the odds in its favor, we conquered a track that resembled bouncy trampolines and pendulums. But the trampoline suddenly turned as soft as clouds, slipping from under my feet. The creature kept reappearing out of nowhere, laughing at my mishaps like it owned this anomaly. Then came the most terrifying moment in the pivot push trial. Walls were closing in hammers swinging, but the creature controlled them like puppets. It was hot on my heels, and its magic was so strong that I almost lost hope. My heart raced to the beat of the game's music, and I knew that victory hung by a thread. My life was on the line. I gave it my all, speeding up and leaping over obstacles, hoping to gain an edge. But that creature was relentless, and its mystical powers seemed unbeatable. Finally, I made it to the finish line with the last ounces of energy in me. My feet firmly planted on the last platform as I faced the glowing arch of the finish line, blinking with bright lights. This moment was make or break. I clenched my fists, focusing on that final leap. My heart was pounding so loudly it felt like thunder echoing in my chest. It was like a storm raging inside my head. In that last split second, I realized I couldn't beat this mystical creature by playing by the game's standard rules. It was something way more enigmatic and powerful. Suddenly, a thought struck me. Something that could change the game's outcome. Knowing my chances were plummeting, I made a daring choice. 
With the pocket money I'd been saving up for a new phone, I purchased an in-game item I'd only heard rumors about. An entirely new ability that promised to be the key to victory. As soon as I acquired this ability, I felt my character's movements imbued with powers akin to lightning. As I faced the trials, time seemed to slow, almost stop, and I effortlessly maneuvered through obstacles and other players. It was like I had control over time itself. My heart was pounding so fast it felt like it was about to burst out of my chest, but I didn't stop. The creature chasing me was relentless, but I was faster. I outpaced it, dodging its attacks, and even paused time for a moment to plan my next move. It was such a cool sensation. All the players froze in ridiculous poses, and I could move among them like a ninja. It was so awesome, and it was totally worth giving up all my hard-earned savings I'd been squirreling away to upgrade my old phone. Finally, with a huge effort and my last breath, I reached the finish line and crossed it. In that moment, I could finally make out the eerie and utterly incomprehensible face of the creature that had been my main rival in this game. It reached out its bony hand towards me, trying to grab me with its claw. But my new skill allowed me to conquer it. I had finally crossed the finish line. Through the bright light of the finish arch, I returned to my room. The creature vanished, and finally, I cleared the level in Stumble Guys. Silence filled my room. I sat there, taking in heavy breaths that seemed much colder than usual. I was alone, and my pocket money had gone into acquiring an ability that helped me defeat something that shouldn't have existed in the world of Stumble Guys. For a moment, I regretted spending those bucks meant for a new phone, but I knew it was the price I had to pay for my victory. For a moment, my thoughts lingered on the question, what was that? I skeptically shook my head. My eyes scanned the room as if expecting something still lurking in the shadows. But everything was in place. The furniture, the walls, my computer. Nevertheless, something lingered in the air, an unspoken presence that couldn't be explained. This experience was too real to be just a nightmare or hallucination. I felt like I was being watched. And for the first time in my life, I began to doubt the reality of what had happened. Maybe all of this was just part of some mystery. A thought crossed my mind. Perhaps in the world of Stumble Guys, there's something greater than just a game. Something we can't truly comprehend. I recalled those whispers in the darkness and murmured them to myself. Mystique, like the wind in the woods, always leaves behind traces of doubt and enigma, and this feeling stayed with me. I didn't know what had happened that night, and perhaps I'd never find out. But I knew one thing. The reality sometimes is much more complex than it seems, and in a world where the virtual and the real blend, there may hide mysteries that defy explanation. Thanks for listening to my story, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe. Who knows? Maybe you've had a similar experience in the world of Stumble Guys. Share your stories in the comments. And remember, stay cautious when you fire up this game. I'm Buxter Bucks, and I'm always thrilled to share more spine-tingling tales with you. Let me know in the comments if you want to hear more. Best of luck, and until our next encounter, take care. I absolutely adore all of my subscribers and appreciate every single like. Bye. See you soon.